we doing? Um, first of all, excited to get back out there on Sunday. Uh, first divisional game of the year uh, in front of our fans, our stadium, uh, before this home series is over. And uh, just excited to get back out there. But uh, I'll open up to questions. When you have a, a swing of the way that the offensive line played against Seattle versus against Cleveland, like how, how do you, uh, I guess, avoid sort of trying to overcorrect from some of the things that you that you're trying to get back to and, and sort of balance staying on course, but also wanting to fix some of the things that didn't go right? Yeah, um, you, you never want to feel like you're pressing or, or trying to do too much. So. It's back to the basics. Um, having a short memory is, is really important in this league. Um, you don't want your highs to be too high, your lows to be too low. You know, the last the last game doesn't matter, the last drive doesn't matter, the last play doesn't matter. It's all about moving forward. It's all about what we have next, and, and right now we have the Lions. So getting into the game plan of that uh, and just got to execute, you know, up front. We got to run the be able to run the ball and protect the quarterback. Those are our two jobs. Um, so we're excited. We got a good opportunity this week against a good front uh, to do that. I think it felt last year like they were mixing a lot of their fronts, and I know it's a new staff this year. Yeah. But like, how does that change your job when you might be seeing a three-four look, and then it's a four-three? And yeah. I don't know. Maybe does it change like during different during the same series? Could it change as much? Just yeah, you, you know, the coaches do a great job of get, getting us in the right play calls, um, depending on the personnel out there. And once the play call is in, you know, it's kind of the quarterback center's job to get everyone on the same page. Uh, and when we all are all on the same page, you know, we can be ex really explosive and get in that rhythm that we want to be in. Uh, and so that's going to be the goal this Sunday. Just make sure everyone's on the same page. Communicate. Communication's huge. It's a benefit that we're at home. And, you know, when we have the ball, it's not as loud. Uh, so just got to be dialed in on that for sure. Does it feel like for a center there's more moving parts when when they are changing stuff up as much as they are? You know, I think our defense did a good job during camp, um, mixing things up a little bit. And so I, we got really good work at it this, this fall. Um, and some of the teams we've played this year have gone multiple, three, four, four, three, different stuff like that. So you just got to communicate. You got to know what personnel is on the field, what personnel we have. Uh, and just, like I said, make sure everyone's on the same page. Does a player like Michael Brockers kind of complicate that? I mean, he can line up seemingly anywhere on the defensive line. Yeah, he's a great player. Um, big free agent addition for them. And we're going through all of our um, individual studies of, of their personnel. But, uh, you know, just scheme wise, you just got to understand what they're trying to do. Um, he can play a bunch of different positions, but uh, we kind of understand, like, when he's in certain places, like you, you just know the personnel that's out there. So communicating that and, and whether it's in the run or pass, um, that's going to be important. When there is an injury, like with Romeo Quora, um, and they have to bring up you know, somebody to replace him that you might have a little bit less information on what they do, does that make it kind of more difficult? Do you have to be a little bit more adaptable when you finally get out there on the field? Uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we have pretty in-depth studies on, on each of their individual rushers um and so when one goes down i mean it's the next man up they have that mentality we do too so it, and a lot of the times it's it's more on what we're doing not so much what the other person's doing so we're just we got to hone in on on technique and um fundamentals so that's kind of where our focus is at hey gary i feel like we hear players talk a lot about breaking the season into quarters you know just kind of viewing it that way how did you feel that first quarter went for you as you evaluate your season uh, I mean, we were one and three, so it's not where we wanted to be when we started the year. Um, we're not, we still have thir 13 games left or whatever it is. Um, and so, I mean, we're focused on the next one. We want to win games. That's that's the goal of this league. That's why we're here. That's There's a bunch of stats out there, but that's really the only one that matters. So um, that's our focus now. We just, we want to earn a win. And... We have a good chance this week against a great team, so that's that's where we're at. That's kind of where everyone's energy is at. Um, it's just moving forward, next game, next play, kind of thing. How are you feeling about just your development, though, in your third year? Uh, good. You know, there's there's plays that you want back. There's things that you're constantly working on. Um, but I like I like where we're at with Coach Rauscher and Coach Steele. You know, I think our unit is coming together. I think communication. You know, you get to a point where Communication doesn't have to be so verbal. You can kind of just understand the scheme and, and where you're at with guys. The more snaps you can log with the guys next to you, 
Um, I feel like Ole and Ezra are doing a great job right now. I, I love playing next to them right now. And so it's just repetitions. That's, that's huge. And so the more we get into it, you know, the more comfortable we're going to feel. When there is a communication breakdown, maybe somebody fails to pick up a stunt or a blitz or something like that, yeah. is that something that you feel the need to address immediately on the field, on the sideline, in the film room the next day? What, what's the approach there? Yeah, there's a, there's a balance between hammering something that's in the past and just understanding, hey, forget it, next play. You got to address the, the, the situation or the problem, whatever it was, so that we don't get beat by it twice. But we talk a lot about just, hey, like not too high, not too low, just keep going. And so if you're worrying about something that happened in the past, then you're not going to be as good as you can in the next play. So having that short memory is huge. And, and so we try and really focus on that in the O-line room. Yesterday, this odd question, Andre Patterson was talking about how he thought quarterback hurries were more important than, or pressures were more important than sacks. And I'm wondering from your end, when you look at film and stuff, do you talk about pressures and hurries and sacks, or do you use it differently? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, we got to keep the quarterback protected and clean, and, you know, we don't want anyone in his face because when – when there's no pressures with Kirk, we know how dominant he is. So, yeah, I mean, we go through every single play, grade the technique and the job grade of everything, and, um, yeah, absolutely. So it's not like you didn't give up a sack, everything was perfect, or, we, you know, I, I guess that's what I'm getting at is that um, how do you, do you, do you consider pressures as important as the defense does, I guess? Is that, you know, like, getting on the same? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> No, no, it's just I understand what you're trying to get at. Um, you know, we, we want to keep the pocket as clean as possible. That's that that's our job. That's our goal. Um, and we know great things happen when that happens. So uh, we're focused on Detroit now and, and keeping that pocket clean and, and being as balanced as we can offensively and, and getting into our stuff. So, you know, that's – but absolutely, yeah, that's, that's very important. Karen, I know you guys, um, as a line, are – you know, take it personally to keep, you know, Kirk upright, keep him clean. But without getting uh, touchdowns in the, in the second half or three straight games, what is the difference? Are defenses just adjusting well to you at halftime? And I know you guys take that personally, and, and how much you guys want to break through that. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a combination of things. It's, it's execution on our part. Um, and we just, we got to finish, you know, f whether it's the second half, whether it's finishing drives or, or finishing at the end of the first half. Um, that's that's important. It's huge. We need we need touchdowns, not field goals, uh, and so that's that's been an emphasis this week. And and I think our raising our practice habit levels, um, trying to do that so that we can finish, get that extra last shove or that extra last block, um, whether it can spring the back or, or give Kirk another half second, second in the pocket to throw it. Um, so there's a lot of reasons for it, but yeah, absolutely, I mean, we, we need to we need to be finishing in the end zone. Last over here. Gary, it, it seems like um, when this team runs the ball successfully, there's just everything sort of falls into place. So I guess what does it feel like, um, or how different does it feel when you guys are dominating the run game up front versus when it isn't working? I mean, it's night and day. Um, there's nothing better than just putting like a 12 play drive together going down. I mean, the first drive we had against Cleveland, um, that was a great feeling. You know, you, you feel them feeling winded at the end of that drive. And they're doing everything they can to stop you, but they can't. You know, we're, we want to be first down, second down, first down. So we don't want to get in those third downs. And if we do, we want them to be manageable. So, you know, being efficient on first down, three and outs kill us. Our defense, they don't have a bunch of time to rest. And, and, and so the better we can do at, at getting into our stuff, whether it's run game, play action, or just drop back pass, being able to hurt them with all three of those, um, that's when we're really good. We play at a really high level. So. The key for us as players is execution, and um, the plays that are called. I mean, we just we get, we got to execute them. So whether it's a communication thing or whether it's an assignment thing, we just we got to put it on ourselves and understand that uh, we have the players to do it, and we got to just got to go do it. You know, it's there's no magic speech, or we just we just got to go out there and, and do what we're supposed to do.